your reaction to Congressman Clyburn's assessment that Democrats aren't being tough enough on voting rights? And do you agree that President Biden should take that message to other states, not just Georgia, to energize voters? I think he should. I think every elected Democrat, I think every Democratic activist should take this, uh, take this up. And frankly, I think Republicans should take it up as well. Look, either we believe in a participatory democracy or we don't. It's as simple as that. And the idea of making uh, voting inconvenient or inaccessible uh, to people on purpose to gain advantage uh, is completely antithetical to a functioning democracy. It's not new. It's not new. But it is a problem uh, whose, uh, whose ugly undersides, I think, are uh, uh, apparent for everybody to see right now. We have real reform legislation that has moved through the House. It has the support of the American people. And it's stuck in the Senate because people are hiding behind procedural rules and other excuses. And I do think we need to dial up the heat. So, you know, this week, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said he'd be open to reforming the Electoral Count Act. But Majority Leader Chuck Schumer responded that that's not enough to protect voting rights and prevent election subversion. I'm of the mind that it shouldn't be either or. It's right. both. But what's your what's your take? Well, Leader McConnell, I, you know, in the words of my grandmother, bless his heart. <laughs> uh, you know, we have we, we there are there are ways in which uh, uh, the electoral count pro pro processes should be uh, should be formalized, should be uh, updated. But I, I would note that many of these bills in the 19 uh, Republican led states that are about suppressing the vote, making it intentionally inconvenient, especially for poor and marginalized people, elderly people, disabled people, people who live in rural communities, uh, very intentionally. They include a provision you don't often hear people talk about, which is, uh, frankly, I think even more pernicious. And that's the ability of partisans to mm -hmm. overrule an election result if they don't like the outcome. So let's just suppose that happens in a uh, in a state that's passed one of these bills. If if Leader McConnell gets his way, then we'd have a reform in the United States Congress that said that the Congress couldn't do anything about that except accept and certify those mm -hmm. electors. So look, we got it's 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 too cute by half. Yes, there are things we have to do to modernize the electoral uh, count and to make sure that people don't make the mistake. Uh, that they uh, that they that they did, if that's what it was, uh, to try to persuade Vice President Pence to behave differently when it was time for him to uh, to certify the presidential count in the last election. But the more mm -hmm. fundamental challenge right now are the efforts underway ever since the Supreme Court uh, gutted the Voting Rights right. Act to roll yeah. back access to the ballot. Mm -hmm. Governor Pasha, let me get you get you to listen to Senator Durbin and what he said about the, the key roadblock here, and that's the filibuster. For our Republican colleagues to feign outrage about preserving the rules and norms of this Senate, I'd ask them to think back a year ago this week. Where were these precious rules and norms when the re leader of the Republican Party, then President Trump, plotted an overthrow of the government by disrupting the Senate business? Where were these rules and norms when some of our colleagues echoed the big lie that led to that bloody insurrection? And where were these rules and norms when some members of the Republican Party openly endorsed installing Donald Trump to the presidency against the will of the American people? So, Governor Patrick, Senate Democrats are discussing various possible rule changes, but it's not clear Manchin or Cinema will support them. So what happens if they won't budge on the filibuster? Not enough happens, frankly, uh, although I hope it doesn't end should they make that terrible, terrible and frankly anti-democratic decision. Understand the filibuster itself is an is an anti-democratic or undemocratic rule. The notion that the majority doesn't actually rule, it takes uh, it can be controlled by a minority. And by the way, uh, Bypassing the filibuster rule happens all the time in the Senate. It <laughs> happened a couple weeks ago. Weeks, right, they lift the bill. debt ceiling. Yep. They, except with a, excuse me, with the debt ceiling. They do it all the time. They carve out uh, exceptions. And what mm -hmm. better exception than to have a functioning democracy? 